Good morning. Welcome to Proverbs 26. And I was sitting by my porch and noticed this beautiful flower by herself. There's some in the background, but she is all by herself. Positioning herself towards the sun because it's coming up. And that's what we're doing today. Reading the Proverbs on day 26 or rather Proverbs 26 we are positioning ourselves towards our source God so let's do it honor is no more associated with fools than snow with summer or rain with harvest like a fluttering sparrow or a, or a darting swallow an undeserved curse will not land on its intended victim Guide a horse with a whip, a donkey with a bridle, and a fool with a rod to his back. Don't answer the foolish arguments of fools, or you will become as foolish as they are. Be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools, or they will become wise in their own estimation. Trusting a fool to convey a message is like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is as useless as a paralyzed leg. Honoring a fool is as foolish as tying a stone to a slingshot. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a thorny branch brandished by a drunk. An employer who hires a fool or a bystander is like an archer who shoots at random. As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his foolishness. There is more hope for fools than for people who think they are wise. The lazy person claims, there's a lion on the road. Yes, I'm sure there's a lion out there. As the door swings back and forth on its hinges, so the lazy person turns over in bed. Lazy people take food in their hand but don't even lift it to their mouth. Lazy people consider themselves smarter than seven wise counselors. Interfering in someone else's argument is as foolish as yanking a dog's ears. Just as damaging as a madman shooting a deadly weapon is someone who lies to a friend and then says, I was only joking. Fire goes out without wood and quarrels disappear when gossip stops. A quarrelsome person starts fights as easily as hot embers light charcoal or fire light wood. Rumors are dainty morsels that sink deep into one's heart. Smooth words may hide a wicked heart just as a pretty glaze covers a clay pot. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, their wrongdoing will be exposed in public. If you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a boulder down on others, it will crush you instead. A lying tongue hates its victims and flattering, flattering words cause ruin. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, those proverbs, they're deep. So thank you, Jesus. We, we take them deep into our hearts and we glorify your name. And we're going to be seeking your face every single morning, just like this flower is seeking the sun. God bless you. Have an amazing day.